हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच से दैट मेंबर बी सी एग्जर्ट्स ऑन मेंबर ए सी अ फोर्स पी डायरेक्टेड अलॉन्ग लाइन बी सी सो दिस बी सी मेंबर इज अप्लाइंग अ फोर्स ऑन दिस ए सी मेंबर एंड दैट फोर्स इज विल बी फ्रॉम बी टू सी and it is said that knowing that p must have 325 newton horizontal component so we are given the horizontal component of force p so if this is force p so its horizontal component will act like this and the magnitude of that horizontal component is 325 newton it is said that determine the magnitude of the force p and its vertical component so now let's draw that uh, forces so let's say we have that force p which is acting on b a the ac member along bc so this is that force p and we are given the horizontal component of this force p so the horizontal component will be acting like this so this is the horizontal component and we are required to find the vertical component magnitude so this will be the vertical component so this is p vertical force p is acting like this this will be the horizontal component and this will be the vertical component and further we are given these dimensions we are given this 720 meter the distance between this point and this point is 720 mm and the distance between this point and this point in the horizontal direction is 650 mm now the horizontal component magnitude is given so the horizontal component magnitude is 325 newton so now let's say that um, this force p is making some angle theta with this horizontal component or we can say that this force p is making some angle with the horizontal so now let me draw that angle here so let's say let's say that this bc member is making some angle theta here so now if if i complete a right angle triangle here let's say if we have some right angle triangle here so now is we have learned that the component the component which is adjacent to the angle or the component which is attached to the angle is always the cross component so we can say that uh, ph is p cos of theta so this ph is the cos component of this p vector so now we can find cos of theta using this right angle triangle using this right angle triangle so now cos of theta from this right angle triangle is we can say that cos of theta will be the base this base divided by hypotenuse so this is the base and this is the hypotenuse so the base is 650 mm so cos of theta is 650 mm divided by hypotenuse now the hypotenuse is the 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 length of this bc arm which is not known so now we can find we can find this hypotenuse length by applying the pythagoras theorem so we can say that bc bc square is equal to 650 mm square plus 720 mm square and by taking the square root we will be able to find that bc length so bc length is equal to 650 square plus 720 square under the square root so now from this we can say that cos of theta is 650 let's find bc length first so bc is 650 square plus 720 mm square and this gives us 970 mm so bc length is 970 mm so this means it, that the length of this bc arm is 970 mm so now cos of theta will be 650 divided by 970 
So now uh, here we can say that this pH is P cos of theta and cos of theta is this ratio. So now this is equal to P and cos of theta is 650 divided by 970 and we are given pH magnitude which is 325 so this is equal to 325 so now p by cross multiplication we can say that p is 325 multiplied by 970 divided by 650 this is 325 multiplied by 970 divided by 650 this gives us p equals to 485 newtons as we know that uh, this 325 this is in newtons this is in newtons 970 and 650 these are in millimeters so millimeter millimeter cancels out and we are left with only the units of force so p magnitude is 485 newtons so this bc arm is applying 485 newton force on this ac member so now we are required to find the vertical component so so again the vertical component is not attached to the angle so it, it will be the sine component so we can say that pv is p sine of theta and p magnitude is now known which is 485 and now again using this right angle triangle we can find sine of theta so sine of theta will be sine of theta will be perpendicular so this is the perpendicular and this is the hypotenuse so the perpendicular is 720 and the hypotenuse is again bc length which is 970 so now we know that sine of theta is 720 divided by 970 so p vertical magnitude is 485 multiplied by 720 divided by 970 so p vertical magnitude is 360 newton so this is the solution to part a and this is the answer for part b so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems